ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದಾ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಗೆ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುದ್ಧಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ರಾಮ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಲಂಕಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೀತಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಸುಗ್ರೀವಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ವಾನರ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟೈಟನ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಲರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪುಷ್ಪಕ ಏರಿಯಲ್ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ದೇ ಮೂವ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ರೋಟ್ ದೇ ಟ್ರಾಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ಸರ್ಮಿಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಮೀನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಮಿಸರಿ ಟು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಗುಹಾ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಭರತ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅರೈವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ and when hanuman told bharata regarding the return of rama from his exile he was so excited for a while he swooned and then on waking up he tried to gift hanuman with, with so many things and then bharata is interested in knowing what all things happened to rama since the time he left him near chitrakuta so he is asking so many queries to him verily it is with joy that i learn these tidings of my protector after the innumerable years that he has passed in the forest how felicitous felicitous it is the well known saying happiness comes to man even if it be after a hundred years how did ragava and the monkeys conclude an alliance and for what purpose answer my questions candidly thus interrogated interrogated by the prince hanuman seating himself on a heap of kusha grass began to describe rama's life in the forest and said o lord you know how he has exiled on account of the two boons bestowed on your mother how the king dasharatha died in consequence of his son's banishment how the messengers o lord brought you back from rajagraha how returning to ayodhya you did refuse the crown how you did go to chitrakuta to appeal to your brother the scourge of your enemies begging him to accept the throne thus conforming to the way of virtuous men how rama renounced the kingdom and how on returning you did bring back the sandals of that illustrious hero all this o long armed warrior is well known to you but what happened subsequent to your departure now hear from me that is subsequent to the departure of bharata from chitrakuta carrying the sandals of rama what all things happened now hear from me after your return distress sees the denizens of the forest creating a great turmoil thereupon rama sita and lakshmana entered the huge dreadful and lonely dandaka forest that was trodden down by elephants and formidable with its lions tigers and deer having penetrated into its depths the powerful viradha appeared before them emitting fearful cries lifting him up as he was roaring like a great elephant those two great warriors rama and lakshmana threw him headlong into a pit and having accomplished that difficult exploit the two brothers rama and lakshmana at dusk reached the enchanting hermitage of sharabhanga but sage having ascended to heaven rama a true hero paid obeisance to the ascetics and thereafter went to janasthana 14000 titans who dwelt in janasthana were slain during the time that the mighty ragava resided there for having fallen into the hands of the only rama during the fourth watch those demons were wholly exterminated 
taking advantage of their great power in order to harass the ascetics, those demons, inhabitants of the Dandaka forest, were slain by Rama in combat. The demons slain and Kara also, Rama then dispatched Dushana and subsequently Trishiras. Thereafter, a female demon named Shurpanaka cursed at him and being ordered to do so, Lakshmana rising took up his sword and constantly cut off her ears and nose. Thus mutilated, the titan woman took refuge with Ravana, then a redoubtable titan in Ravana's service named Maricha, assuming the form of a jeweled deer, big jeweled Vaidehi, who on beholding it said to Rama, O oh, my beloved, capture that great golden deer for me. It will enliven our solitude. Raghava, with bow in hand, rushed out in pursuit of the deer and destroyed it with a single arrow, O oh, my friend. While Raghava, however, was thus engaged in the chase, Lakshmana too had left the hermitage and Dashagriva, entering there speedily, took hold of Sita as Graha seizes Rohini in the sky. Slaying the vulture Jatayu, who sought to deliver her, that means who sought to protect her, protect Sita, the titan taking hold of Sita departed in all haste for his capital. Meanwhile, some strange looking monkeys as large as hills, standing on the summit of a mountain, astonished, observed Ravana, the king of the titans, proceeding with Sita in his arms. And mounting into the sky with her in the chariot Pushpaka, which was as swift as thought, the all powerful Ravana returned to Lanka. There he entered his vast palace decorated with pure gold and with many words sought to console Vaidehi, but she, regarding his speech and his person with disdain, and as less than a straw, was imprisoned in the Ashoka grove. Meanwhile, Rama returned, having slain the deer in the forest, and as he did so, he beheld the vulture so beloved to his father that at which he suffered extreme distress. Thereafter, Raghava with Lakshmana set out in search of Vaidehi and they crossed the Godavari river with its flowering woodlands. In the great forest, the two princes met a titan named Pabandha, counseled by whom the true hero Rama repaired to the mountain Rishamoka in order to confer with Sugriva and even before they met, they were firm friends. Sugriva had formerly been banished by his irascible brother Wali and in consequence of this meeting, a sound alliance was formed between them. Rama, by the strength of his arms, established him on the throne having slain Wali, a giant full of valor in the field, regaining his kingdom, Sugriva vowed in return to set out with all the monkeys in order to find the princess and under the command of their magnanimous sovereign, ten crores of those Pavangamas repaired to different regions. While discouraged, we were resting on the lofty Vindhya mountain, plunged in despair a long time past. Meanwhile, the powerful brother of the king of the vultures, named Sampati, informed us that Sita was dwelling in Ravana's palace, whereupon I, whom you see here, was able to dispel the grief of my companions and resorting to my own prowess, crossed over a hundred leagues of sea and discovered mightily alone in the Ashoka grove, clad in a soiled silken cloth, stained with dust, afflicted at 
faithful to her conjugal vow. Approaching that irreproachable lady, I paid obeisance to her and bestowed a ring on her in Rama with Rama's name as a pledge, and she in turn gave me a brilliant jewel. My mission accomplished, I returned and gave Rama the token bright gem, and he, receiving tidings of Maithili, regained his just for life as one who in extremity brings Amrita. Summoning up his strength, he resolved to overthrow Lanka as when the time has come, Vipavasu prepares to destroy the worlds. Reaching the shores of the sea, the prince commanded Nala to construct a causeway and the army of the valiant monkeys crossed the ocean on that bridge. Prahasta fell under the blows of Nila, Kumbhakarna under those of Raghava, Lakshmana slew Ravana's son Indrajita, and Rama killed Ravana himself. Having been received by the grantor of boons, Chakra, as also Yama, Varuna, and Mahadeva, Sayambhu, and Dasharatha, Rama was showered with favors by all the rishis. The glorious Kakusta, scourge of his enemies, was rendered happy by obtaining these boons and returned to Kishkinda, accompanied by the monkeys in the chariot Pushpaka. He has reached the Ganga once again and is dwelling with the sage Bharadwaja, where without hindrance you should behold him tomorrow when the Pushya star is in an auspicious aspect. Thereupon, hearing Hanuman's delightful words, Bharata, full of joy, paid obeisance to him and in accents pleasing to the heart, said, after a long time, my desires are at last fulfilled. Thus come to the end, chapter 128 of Yudhakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puravasini, Tvamaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidya Dhananchadehime. Goodbye.